you have the mind, which controls the body, but then you also have the spirit. And the spirit is within the body. The you see, spirit is just an assumption. Isn't it just an assumption? Where has this idea of there being a spirit entered your mind? Probably you've read about it in books, or you've heard other people speaking about it. Isn't it true? Yeah. Like many other ideas, people just have the idea of God because they've been hearing other people speak about it. I'm not saying it's true or not true. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that whatever has not entered into one's own direct experience should not be accepted. It doesn't matter who says it. Even if it's somebody like Gautama Buddha, it doesn't matter who it is. Because whatever has not entered into your own direct experience has no relevance as far as your living moment-to-moment -moment experience is concerned. So if you're really interested in what we're calling truth, one thing is that we need a scientific attitude. What's a scientific attitude? It means you're willing to go into a certain exploration without any assumptions, setting all of our likes and dislikes aside, setting all of our belief systems aside, and we're simply coming to the recognition that I don't know. Once we come to a recognition of our ignorance, if you really come to a recognition of our ignorance, only then is there a possibility of seeking and finding. There was once a professor who came to see a Zen master, and he wanted him to teach him about Zen. So the master went, and he served some tea to him. And he poured the tea in his cup, and cup kept on flowing and overpouring and overpouring and then suddenly kept on overpouring and the professor said stop no more is going to enter into this teacup then the master said just like this teacup you've come here filled with all of your beliefs speculations assumptions conclusions how can I really show you what Zen is unless you first empty your cup and in Zen that is what is called a beginner's mind yeah. A truly beginner's mind is so open and fresh. It can receive so many possibilities from so many different dimensions. But the mind of an expert, he already thinks he knows everything. He's clinging to his knowledge. Now his understanding has become narrow, focused on one point. He cannot see anything else beyond that point. So if you're really interested in something like truth, you have to understand that it's bound to be uncomfortable. It's bound to be uncomfortable because what we're doing is we're setting aside everything that we have assumed and we're entering into the unknown. And the unknown, nobody wants to go into it. Of course not. Nobody wants to enter into the unknown. We, are, we get comfort and security from the known. So the moment we take even one step into the unknown, naturally fear arises.